What's up guys, this is Tony Gebhardt. I was actually the one who made the voiceover video on how to use the Macintosh as a blind person, and a lot of people seem to be very interested in GarageBand, okay? And I wanted to do a tutorial video for the visually impaired on how to use GarageBand version 6.0.5. I'm not very skilled with version 10, unfortunately, but I can walk you guys through version 6.0.5. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna pipe my voiceover through the audio so you guys can hear what I'm doing so you can properly do it. We're gonna go through a few different things, change your voice, uh, write some music, you know, simple things, you know what I mean? So, let's get voiceover set up. Closing menu, Inter confirm your audio setting. Sound right. You guys should be able to hear voiceover now. So, now, if you're new to GarageBand and you don't know where GarageBand is, it's in your apps. So, VLC, QuickTime Player, Finder. We're going to go to the Finder, Finder okay? And you're going to press Command-Shift-A. App list one item selected. Able to live eight application one of one. You should take you to your applications folder. So press G. Applications. Get GarageBand 6.0.5. Application 28 of 103. And yours... Depending on what operating system you guys have and what version of GarageBand you have, it should just say GarageBand, but for this video, it's just for 6.0.5. So we're going to open that, press Command-O. GarageBand, GarageBand window, choose button. Okay, so we're going to go all the way to the left. New project, radio button. It says new project. Let's say you want to make a voice track or a piano track, okay? We click that by pressing VO space and your voiceover press, new keys. Project. As I've mentioned before, are your control and option. So after you press that, project templates list one item you move selected to the right. Piano image one of ten. And you go into that by interacting. In the interacting, you do shift, control, option, down arrow. Interact with project templates list one item selected. Piano. And let's do piano, right? Okay, let's just do something simple. We click that. View space. Band, press piano image one of ten. Garage band ready. We stop, stop. interacting. Do the same thing, but just with the up arrow. Uh, let's Fine. see here. Create default button. Now go all the way to the right and click create. Garage band busy. It'll go busy just for a few seconds. Just wait for it. Press create default button. Garage band busy. It'll take Garage a second. Garage band now in my song three. Band. Okay. Now. Once you do that, stop interacting with everything, go all the way to the left. 63% zoom slider. That's just Drag a zoom the slider. Zoom it's sort of a visual thing. You don't have to worry about that. Arrange layout area. The arrange layout area is where your tracks are. If you're doing multi-tracking, that's where they're going to be, okay? And multi-tracking is doing more than one thing. So let's, I let's say I record a piano track, and then I do a drum track, and then I do a guitar track, and then I add some vocals. That's basically how that works. So, track info. Group. One track is already created, and I have my MIDI controller plugged in right now. And a MIDI controller is basically an external keyboard without instruments that you can plug into a computer and use software instruments for. Okay, so I have that to my left. I have the the M Audio Oxygen Key Forty Nine. I'm not gonna do much playing because that's not what this is, but. I'm gonna pause this background music just for a second so I Garage can band. demonstrate something for you. New track. If you press the space bar, you'll hear a metronome. Actually, toolbar. One second. Audio slash MIDI. Stop it. Soundflower. Two CH. Pop up button. Close. Yeah, you'll hear this metronome. One B one division. One. It's not the most advanced thing in the world. It's not like what Pro Tools has or anything, but it's doable. So. Editor, uncheck, check. Let's go from the left to the right. Arrange you layout area. The arrange layout areas where your tracks are, okay? Play this back up. Garage and then track info. track info is where all your effects will be, your noise gates, your compressors, your reverbs. Let's go into that, shall we? Interact with. Let's give you a little uh, software instrument. walkthrough on that. Software instruments button. Master track button. Browse. Selected I'm radio going button. From left One to two. right. And it's on browse right now. If you want to get to your effects and stuff like that. Edit radio button. Two of two. You press select radio button. Edit. Two of two. And you do that by doing VO space. 
Open effects help button. So click to view related help. Topic. And there's a help button right there if you need extra help. I'm not I I'm not too advanced with this stuff, but I know enough to give someone a complete tutorial. Sound generator group. Sound generator group is where your instruments are going to be, okay? And I have more instruments than probably any of you do, depending on how much you've installed, because I, I went out and installed a lot of extra plugins. But we're going to go in there and um, do a little bit of seeking around. Manual. Reset. Pop up. Edit button. Okay, so there's an edit button just in case you want to edit the presets to that instrument, which you really don't need to do, because I never do that. VLC. Kelt. Garage. So. Piano. Pop-up button. Default is piano. Manual. Reset. And pop then up there's button. a manual, which is just the natural piano that comes with it. So, we open manual. Menu 33 items. Checkmark. Manual. I have 33 different pianos. Afro Cuba piano. Bold Andre Grand piano. Bold Campbell Grand xylophone. I'm using the down arrow right now. Bold Campbell Steel xylophone 3D. Bold Campbell Steel xylophone. Bold Campbell Thumb piano 3D. Bold Campbell Thumb piano. Bold Campbell Wooden xylophone. Bold and Sonic Celeste. Bold and Sonic Glockenspiel. Here, let's let's mess around with one of Closing these real menu. quick. It's nothing too advanced, but it's cool, right? Well, let's let's explore the other instruments, though. Piano, pop-up button. So there's a these are pop-up buttons, okay? So you open those by just doing VO space. Menu 34 items, check mark, piano. All right, let's go up first. Hybrid morph. Hybrid morph. These are different synth uh, packages that I installed. Hybrid basic horns. And there's horns, guitar, guitar, electric piano, electric guitar, electric, er, electric, electric piano, piano, my bad, Elec drum kits, drum VLC kits, has let's new do, window. Let's do drum kits. Drum kits. Garage band busy. Garage band It'll ready. Take a second to load. Default. Re and this is the default drum kit. Sweet, huh? Default. Reset. Let's go Pop through a few different drum kits, though, just to give you an idea of what I've got and how easy it is to explore. Menu 49 item checkmark. Default. Manual. Two step remix. African kit. Asian kit. Atmospheric Af Big beat remix. Breaks remix. Cavern kit. Classic hip hop remix. Classic house remix. Dance kit. Drum and bass remix. Let's do drum and bass. What does that one sound like, huh? Closing menu. Drum and bass remix. Reset. Pop up button. Sweet, huh? Drum. All right. As for effects, let's get, let's stop interacting with this. Stop interacting with sound generator group. Okay. And we're gonna go to the right. Compressor group. There's a compressor group where you can have different compressions, and a compressor a compressor is basically something that just makes it fit in the mix. Usually, like if you're doing uh, if you're doing stuff with. Let's say you have a full band that you're trying to mix, right? You got drums, guitar, mics, vocals, and you usually want to compress all that stuff so it fits together and, and it doesn't override each other in the mix. Save instrument button. Well, okay, anyways. Back select where it was. Select it. Sele all right. Compressor group. Select effect pop-up button. Okay, anyway. S compressor group. So now after that is going to be, I think, four to five different pop-up buttons that where you can do multiple chain effects. Select effect, pop One, up. Select effect, two, pop. Select three, effect, select four. effect. Visual EQ group. Yep, four of them, okay? Compressor group. In these select pop up buttons is where your effects will be. Now, I've installed much more effects than the natural person would, but we're going to go in here anyway just to give you an idea. The first effects you'll hear are the default effects that comes with GarageBand, and they're pretty neat. So, menu 237 items. We're going to open this up and. VO space to open that, and then we're gonna use the down arrow. Check mark none. Garage band effects dimmed. Amp simulation. Amp simulation. Auto -wah. Auto -wah. Automatic filter. Bass amp. Bass reduction. Bit crusher. Chorus. Distortion. Flanger. Overdrive. Phaser. Speech enhancer. Track echo. Track reverb. Treble reduction. Tremolo. Vocal transformer. So, give you an idea how these work. Tre treble reduction. Tre tremolo. Tre track reverb. Here's the current instrument I'm using right now. The drum and ba the the drum and bass drum kit. Okay. Track echo. Let's add a speech and track reverb. Track reverb. 
Closing menu. We click VO space, and this is the default reverb. Now, with each effect, there usually is at least 10 to 15 different presets, okay? Select effect pop-up. Track reverb group. So we're going to interact with that group. Interact with track reverb group. And we're Four items and right, all the way to the right. Default. Reset. Pop-up Default. Button. We're going to VO space. Menu 22 items checkmark. Default. Manual. Arena. Bass arena. Bass in the room. Concert hall. Deep space. Drum cave. Drum club. So if I'm messing with drums, you know, naturally you want to use a drum reverb. Drum room one. So let's do drum room one. Closing menu. Kind of get the idea. Pretty simple, right? Anyway, if we keep moving to stop the right, let's stop interacting with this, though. Select effect pop-up button. Get out of there. Select effect visual EQ group. A visual EQ is just a, na a set of... An EQ, for anybody who doesn't know, is something that makes your sound sound sexier. <laughs> it's just to mess with the levels and the frequencies to make it sound more full, more bright. If you want to bring out bass, if you want to bring out mids. Interact with visual EQ interact group. with this. Manual. Reset. Dim pop-up button. Right. First, you have to enable it. Enable. Uncheck checkbox. It's going to be on your left. You just check, check enable it. checkbox. Okay. VO space. And then go all the way to the right. Manual. Reset. Pop-up button. And there's going to be a bunch of... Menu 47 items. Check mark. Manual. A bunch of different... EQ options, okay, and this is not like a a seven band EQ or a thirty one band EQ that you would see in Audacity or Pro Tools or anything. I have one installed for GarageBand, but I don't think GarageBand comes with one. So we're gonna go down. Acoustic guitar clear. Add bass clarity. Add bass punch. Add brightness. Okay, so let's say I want to use something with drums because I'm not I'm using drums right now, aren't I? So default. We're gonna press drum refresh. Dr for drum refresh. We're gonna drum refresh hit check space on that. It's gonna ask you. You have made changes to the current instrument or instrument setting. Click click save as to save your changes as a custom instrument or setting, or click continue to discard the changes and continue working. That's what you gotta do. Just click continue. continue. Default button. Now in. My and it changes it. Did you see it brought out a more bright tone? For anybody who doesn't have the best ear, what it basically does, it just brings it a more brighter sound out and makes it sound more full, okay? So we're going to stop interacting with this. Stop interacting with Visual EQ Group. And we're going to go to the right. Enable Master Echo. Check checkbox. Okay, and there's going to be two sliders here. One for echo, one for reverb. Zero percent. Master Echo slider. Let's Adjust interact the amount with of that interact with. Bring it up a few notches, huh? So we're going to use VO right arrow. 4.7%. 9.4%. 14.2%. Okay. So, let's put that at zero. Zero percent. And then we're going to stop interacting. Stop interacting with slider. We're going to go to the right again. Enable master reverb. Check. There's going to be a master reverb. Okay. And yes, there is track reverb already in the effects chains, but this is the master reverb. If you don't feel like messing with the effect specifically in the pop-up menus, you don't have to. You can adjust it to your liking here. 14% master reverb. Slide. And it's already set at 14 naturally. Interact with slide. Let's say you want to take it up to, I don't know, 50. 33 point, 42.5, 47.52%. So 52%. Boom. All right, so you got the idea of effects. Pretty simple, very straight out, laid forward. So we're going to stop interacting with that. We're going to stop interacting with track info. Okay, let's mess with the um, arrange layout area. Arrange layout area, just to give you an idea of how you mess with tracks. So we're gonna interact. Interact with arrange layout area. Two items. Track headers group. You don't timeline group. Don't worry about timeline group. That stuff gets a little bit more complicating. So what you want to do is track headers group. 
interact with the track headers. Interact with track headers group, instrument track headers group. And then interact again with the instrument track headers group. Interact with instrument. And then what you're going to see now is the list of tracks that you've made through GarageBand. Since there's only one. Grand piano track header group. It'll say grand piano track. So when we interact with that, interact with grand piano track header group on the left, mute, uncheck checkbox. It says mute. So if you want to mute that track, go ahead and check it. But there also is key commands to do this natu to do this quickly without having to go in here. But I'm going to show you this now, so you get the idea. So that's mute. Solo, uncheck checkbox. Solo, solo or unsolo the track. Soloing. Let's say you have a full GarageBand project, okay? with drums, guitar, bass, and vocals. And you wanna specifically have one track pretty much alone, solo it. That's what you do. So if I'm playing drums, and I just wanna hear the drums so I could focus on the EQ more heavily, I solo it so nothing else plays. And then when I'm done, I unsolo the track, boom. And to do that, you can press S. But, okay, let's keep moving. Center, pan, circular slider. Panning. Set the track now, pan position. Panning is where you want that instrument in the stereo field. So I'm going to interact with this. Interact with circular. And it's at 0%. So let's go to the left. 9%, 19% left, 28%, 38%, 47%, 56%, 100% left. 100%. Now listen to the drums now. Now let's move it all the way to the 100%. right. Let's bring it back to the center. Six, four, thir 20, 14, five per five percent left, 14, five percent right. No, it's not gonna let us, but you get the idea. So we're gonna stop interacting. Stop interacting. 70.9% volume slider. And then Set there the track is volume. the specific volume that you want for that track. That's pretty self-explanatory. Open automation. Uncheck checkbox. Open automation. Don't worry higher. about that. Mute. You won't need to worry about that. Uncheck checkbox. Okay, so we're going to stop, stop interacting stop. with everything. Track info group. We're going to keep going to the right now. New track button. New track. Create a new track. That's where you can just make whatever kind of track you want. If you want a basic track, which is usually a vocal track, you press Command, Shift, N, and this is what it'll say. New basic track. New basic track, but we don't need that. Delete track. So we're going to delete that, which is command backspace. Track info. Anyway. New track. Editor. Uncheck checkbox. Editor. View I'm not going to get into editor, editor because it's, like I said, that's more complicating. And I'm just showing you more of the simple things of GarageBand. Um, rewind button. Rewind. Move backwards. Forward button. Forward. Beginning of the song button. Beginning Go to the of beginning the song. Of the and let's say you're doing a recording and you want to start from the beginning. Just press enter. Bar 1, D1, Division 1, take 1. It'll say Go bar to the beginning. 1, Division one, beat one. It'll start you right from the beginning. Anyway. Play, uncheck checkbox. Play. Record, uncheck. Record. And you can press R to record, okay? So, let's do a little recording. Let, let's do, um, I want to show you at least an example record. of that so you get the idea. Check, record, checkbox. You got that? So I press spacebar to stop, I press enter to go from the beginning, and I press spacebar to play. <laughs> Boom, simple, right? Okay, so I press spacebar to stop. Now, I wanna get into multi-tracking. This is where stuff gets a little bit cooler. De decrease Turn the volume down. Increase vol the background. Close music. window. Now in Celtic Mix. So, Garage Band. Now, what you want to do is press Command Option N. New track. Interact with dialog for window. My song three times. Track. Software instrument selected. Radio button you one of three. You want software instrument selected, okay? And then you go all the way to the right. Create default button. Click Create, and you have a new track Garage made Band right then and there. Wait for the piano to start. Record. Uncheck checkbox. Closing dialog. Start or stop okay. recording. So, let's go back to track info. 63%. Arrange layout area. Track info group. Interact with track info group. Software instruments button. Master track. Browse. Edit. Ra show all. Edit radio button. Two of two. Press edit radio. Sound generator group. Interact with sound generator. Manual. Piano. Pop let's button. Let's say I want to use a synth. So I press A. Analog basic. Analog. Analog mono. Let's use analog Closing mono. Closing Okay, 
So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press enter to go to the beginning. Play. Get rid of that. All right. Go to the beginning. Beginning. Play. Record. Uncheck. Checkbox. Go to record. record. And I'm going to press start. Check. Just like that. Multi-tracking, man. It's fun. It's easy. It's simple. And once you get to the hang of it, you can make your own orchestras and whatnot. So I play it back. Okay. Now let's add one more piece to that. Let's add a pad. And a pad is something that happens in the background, like a synth pad, like orchestra like violins or something so we're gonna do command option n new track interact with dialog for window my song three type and software inst software instrument selected radio software press instrument cre create default button garage garage band ready Cl okay 63 percent zoom slider arrange layout area track info group go to track Inter info. software instruments button i gotta check one thing real quick Toolbar. mute sound enable positional out sound flower two all right. Garage. Making sure. Software instruments button. Software instrument. Master track. Browse. Edit. Click radio button. Edit. Press. Sound generator. Group. Manual. Piano. Pop-up button. Menu 34 items. Check mark. Piano. Analog basic. Analog mono. Analog pad. Now, Closing you guys menu. might not have these instruments, Default. but whatever you got, have fun and play with them. You know what I mean? Because you never know what you can make. So let's find a pad. Dancy pad. Dark pad mod. Dancy pad. What's this one? Song? Closing. <laughs> Like it. it's too it's too Me in your face dark digi synth dark pad mod w Let's do dark closing menu i like that so we're gonna use that okay so we're gonna stop, stop. interacting with everything again we're gonna go to the right Edit. rewind forward beginning of play uncheck checkbox record uncheck check. and we're gonna do record Quality. again so check here we go Since that wasn't too loud, what I'm going to do is on my MIDI keyboard, I have different mixer type things, and I'm going to turn the volume knob up just a little bit so you can hear it better. So we're going to play that back again. One, division, one, Hopefully one. it'll sound louder. One, one, division, one, one. And that is how you make music on GarageBand. It's very simple with MIDI keyboards. Now, I want to show you guys something else that's pretty cool and random. A lot of people ask me, how do you do this? And I'm going to show you. So, let's turn Pause. this music back on. Okay. So, Garage. to change your voice in GarageBand. So you want to mess with some friends on Skype or something, and you want to make a little recording, make yourself sound funny or stupid, um, what you're going to do is... 63%. Well, this is a little bit more complicating, but I'm going to give you the simplistic um, Track format info. of it. So I am going to kill my voice at the moment with the program that I'm using to pipe my voice through. I'm going to go bye-bye in 3, 2, 1... Finder. Garage. 63. Track. Software. Instrument. Real instrument. Edit. Brow. Press. Save. Open. Off. On. No feedback. And I am back. And I am using GarageBand now to pipe my voice through. How I did that, by the way, is... uh Wait. Hold on a second. Finder. Find. I did Command-Shift-N... And it made a basic track, and then I went into track info again, and I went all the way to the right until I heard monitor off. I VO spaced it, went down to on, no feedback prote protection, and boom, you can hear Preferences, me. audio slash loops button. One second. Soundflower, 2CH, pop-up button. Sure, digital. Okay. Close. Now. Now. Real instruments. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to mess with my Ma voice. Browse. Selected radio button. One of two. Edit. Radio button. Two of two. Let's do edit. Press edit. Radio. Okay. Edit. Noise gate group. Compressor. We're going to go to the effects now. Select effect. Pop-up button. 
menu 200 now this is more of a show off type part but also just to give you an idea how to do it if you guys ever want to mess with friends i'm going to press h h harmony f h delay s and i'm going to use this effect okay garage garage band uh closing menu select h delay I am echoing, I am echoing, echoing manual, echoing, reset, echoing, pop, echoing, enable. I'm going to interact, with this, with this, with this, with this, with this manual, this, reset, this, pop up button. I'm going to press space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar, fast, springy module, fast, low rumble, fast, robo, flying, fast siren, rope, flying saucer, watch out. Flying saucer, menu, fast siren, springy, horror voice, broken, not so nice, careless whiskers, old radio, closing, this is an old radio apparently, guys. VLC. Garage band. Old radio. Reset. Pop up now, button. You can hear my voiceover. So the blind users and some of the sighted people who are watching the screen recording can see what I'm doing. Sharp straw. Closing. Uh, oh, oh God. That menu. sounds brutal. Sharp straw. Menu. Six. Early morning. From the early. Uh, Closing. Menu. Six. From spring reverb mono. Spring reverb stereo. Closing. Uh, ooh. That's creepy. Who am I? Tiled. Who am I? Closing me. Who? 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 Am. 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 Ah. Flutter. Bathroom. Flutter. Echo. Close. Flutter. Echo. Oh, I like it. Menu. Bathroom. Here's one that's called bathroom. Close. I sound like I'm in a bathroom. Menu. That's awesome. Long distance. Mod machine. Modulation. Flanging. Metallic doubler. Metallic doubler. Oh, that sounds so cool. I love that. Menu. What else do we got? Light flan dramatic chorus. Lefty guitar. Lefty guitar. Well, I'm not a guitar, so. Eight delay S. Uh, let's mess with some other effects, shall we? Menu 237 items checkmark. Eight delay. Amp simulation. Amp simulation. Auto Automatic filter. Bass amp. Bass reduction. Bit crusher. Oh, bit crusher. This will be fun. Cl okay, so. My voice has been reduced to about 16K. Default. Reset. Manual. 6 bit recent. AM rate. 6 bit recent. Close. <laughs> Menu. AM radio. Okay, that was really bad. I sound like I'm coming through an old time radio. And recent in the news, uh, George Bush has sent troops to Iraq. And uh, that sounds really bad. Okay. Damn eight bits. Closing. Damn eight bits, man. Damn eight bits. Reset. Menu. What else do we got? Closing. Uh, hello. Okay, this is more understandable. Not as much. Soft bit reduction. Closing. Uh, soft bit re- Okay, this sounds better, but let's see what else we got. Menu 11 items check. Wave destruction. Wave Closing menu. Ah! Menu Default. 6 bit recent. Close. Bit crusher. Base reduction. B check mark. Base amp. Closing menu. Okay, this is a base amp. This sounds interesting. Default. Re base amp. Base reduction. Bit chorus. Distortion. Chorus. Let's go to Closing. a chorus effect. Alright, I sound cool. Default. Reset. Pop-up button. Okay, now this is an effect everybody has. This is an effect everybody has. It's th These are all the default effects I'm messing with so you don't feel left out, so... Menu 12 items. Checkmark. Default. Atmospheric. Deep modulation. Atmospheric. Close. Uh, this is atmospheric. It doesn't really sound atmospheric to me, but atmospheric. I like it. Menu. Glimmer. Closing. Uh, yeah. Chorus. Okay, now I'm gonna mess with something that'll blow your mind. A AU parametric, AU peak limiter, AU pitch, AU Roger, AU sam, auto tune, auto tune, auto tune, FX, auto tune, yeah, ooh yeah. See, I'm better than T Pain. Oh, I'm gonna try something. Ooh yeah. Why? Okay. Yeah, I made an idiot myself already. Love it. Auto -tune Check this out, though. This will be Menu pretty cool. H comp S. H delay. Harmony FX. Closing. Harmony. <laughs> this is a harmony effect. It's really cool. Yeah. Okay, that's enough of that. I actually have that plugin, so if anybody wants it, you just send me an email, and I can probably email you the uh, component file. Same goes with some of these other effects. If anybody is that interested, 
I'm that intrigued to get some of the stuff off of me, please feel free to tell me. We can share a BT Sync folder, or we can exchange emails, Dropbox, whatever will work. But I think this concludes the video. I hope you guys have really enjoyed it. And if you have any more questions or need anything else, if you have suggestions for videos that you would like me to make, please comment on this video, send me an email, call me. Well, I'm not going to give my number over YouTube, but Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Audio Boo, Reverb Nation, Alone Tone, various sources you can catch me. But click to record. I am going to voice over utility. Turn voiceover Toolbar. off on Enable. here so you guys don't Enable. need Enable. to hear him Sounds anymore. Output. Menu item. Built in output. But anyway, as you guys know, I am a musician, and if you guys are you guys are very welcome to check out my music at www.reverbnation.com slash Tony Geb23. That's www.reverbnation.com slash T-O-N-Y-G-E-B-2-3. Anyway, if I can get this out of here, because my computer is being slow. This has been awesome, guys. I thank you very much. Comment, subscribe, thumbs up, give us some likes, and uh, tell your friends because I love making videos like this. I enjoy helping other people. Anyway, God bless, guys. Love y'all.